just picked, well, this just arrived from Amazon. It's an Amazon Basics product. I think brand new, it's $10. Used is $7. I think I bought the used version. Anyway, the details will be below. So the reason um, I purchased this item is so that I can, and this is why you're watching the video, see if I can use my iMac to watch. I'm sorry, connect my iMac, old iMac computer. It's a uh, 2009 um, I'll give you all the details. Uh, all the details are below, but I believe it's a 2009 iMac. Um, a 2009 iMac computer that I don't use as often, but I'd love to use it as a display. And my issue is, is that um, the display I'm using right now is kind of large. And I would love to see if I can use one of my old iMacs so that I ha have two purposes. If I feel like logging into, it does have Mac o a Mac OS Sierra. So it's not too old, so I could use Mac, but I use the PC mostly because of the software I have to edit and do things on it. Um, so I'm a, more of a Windows guy, but I will use a Mac with no issues whatsoever. Uh, but it'll be nice to have kind of both of them. So this is the mini DV to the regular size. Um, let me just mini display port to display port. Okay, mini display port to display port cable. And I think this is used because the caps weren't on it. This is a 6.6 .6 foot or six foot cable longer than I need, and it's an Amazon Basics one. So let's see if it actually works to use my iMac as a monitor. Uh, let's see, Amazon Basics. Um, okay. This is my setup in the cabinet. I already have the display port set up. So this is what I'm going to do. This is a 27 inch iMac. This is the back of the iMac. USB 2009. That's the Firewire 800, I believe. And the mini display port connection is right there. So I'm going to fish it through the back here. Okay, there it is, it's in. Uh, Ethernet, Firewire, display port. Usually you're using it the other way around. You're connecting to another display so you can have two displays in one. All right, that's done. Now we're going to connect it to my Corsair One computer. It'll be in the back over there. Uh, let me see if I can give you a shot at the back. It's a 2080 video card. And that's the back right there. Regular size display port. And all info will be below as to the link to purchase it, if it works. I'm hoping it does work. And that's it right there. So that's this one. This is for a second monitor that I don't have hooked up right now. Um, there it is, right. Yeah. All right, let's see what happens. I do have an additional keyboard and mouse hooked up to the iMac. If this does work, I'd like to still use both computers. Okay, so let's turn on the Corsair one. And the display, it looks like will not go on without turning on the iMac. I thought it worked like the regular Apple display, which doesn't have an on and off button, but you're gonna have to turn this on. I thought it would automatically do it by itself, but it's not. So you have to turn on the...
So the iMac is on, nothing else is on, just the iMac. The display is not coming on, let's uh, wait a second. All right, it's been a few minutes, nothing's happening, so let me try to unplug and plug back in the, dis the mini display port in the back of the iMac. So I'm going in the back now. Let me turn it around, let me turn it a little bit. Unplug it, and then plug it back in while both of them are on. So right now, both of them are on. Still nothing. Come on. That was odd. The computer turned off by itself, the iMac. All right, let's try it again. This has a, I don't know if I mentioned it, 2080 video card. This is very, very odd because the actual computer, every time I plug, unplugged and plugged in the, the mini display port connection, the back of the iMac, every time I unplug it, plugged it while the iMac was on, it would shut down the computer, which just completely shut it off. So, what I did was, I kept it unplugged, turned on the iMac, let it boot up to its screen, it got to the iMac screen, I just plugged it back in, and it's working. There's my Windows display. Yep. Just let me log in. Okay, I am in. It's asking me to join Windows 11. I'm not upgrading at all, but there are my icons. Awesome. Today's day. And it's working as a monitor. Let me look at the actual resolution that you receive. So the highest resolution is 25 by 1440, 2K. Cool. So it works, awesome. I'm very, very, very happy that it's working. So now let me see what happens when I shut down the PC. Well, let me reboot it first and see what happens. Hey, it came back and it actually did not go back to the iMac. Let's do that again. This is the reboot process. Nothing's going on. It's just a black screen, right to a blue screen. It's not going back to the iMac. That is, okay, so now it's become my display. There it is, Corsair 1. Awesome, working very well as a display. I am very happy with it. Um, great option when you have iMacs around that you're not doing anything with. These things weigh 50 pounds, I'm exaggerating, but they're very heavy. Sometimes you wanna use them because you, you like that glass screen, or that glossy screen, I should say. Um, all right, let's see what happens when you shut down. I'm gonna see if it goes back to the iMac. It does. 
Okay, now I'm back to the iMac. Let me turn the PC back up, back on. Let's see what happens if this iMac goes away. Wow, working perfectly. Back to the PC. That is awesome. It's working perfectly. So I can now use my iMac display, whatever size. I have, this is the 2009 version. All the info on this iMac and the video card I'm using are down below. And the link to the Amazon Basics uh, mini display port to display port connection link is down below also. So again, let's do that again. We're gonna shut down to see if I can use my iMac. It should go right back to my iMac, yep. So now I am logging in, I'm in my iMac. And now when I just wanna use the iMac instead of the CPU, I just shut down the computer. Awesome. That is great. When I want to use the PC, all I have to do is turn it on and the iMac will just go away. Really cool. I like it. And I am going, this is going to definitely be a keeper. One of the nice things about the iMac is that I actually should be able to use the video. So let me just double check the video to see if I can use the webcam coming off the iMac. So a quick test for the webcam is not coming up. You can't use it because you don't have the USB connections. So I guess I could use Zoom on my iMac and use the webcam that's built into the actual display itself, but you can't, nothing comes up under um, Zoom, this is Zoom. It's not plug and play, nothing's coming up. And this is Windows I'm on. All right, so this is the end of my video. I hope the video helps. Just a reminder that when you first connect everything, you have to first turn on both computers. Well, I had to, it may be different for you, but if you're having issues like what I was telling you I was doing was unplugging it and, and it would just shut down the iMac, completely turn it off. So what I, what I needed to do, what you need to do, if that's occurring, is to turn on the PC, turn on the iMac. Okay, let me just step back a second. Connect the display port connection on the back of the PC first, right? Connect, then turn on the PC. Turn on the iMac. Do not plug it in yet, the mini display port. Do not. Turn it on. Let it boot into the iMac screen. Then connect the Mac mini display port into the iMac, and then it should come up. That's how it came up for me. So as long as the computer's on without rebooting, uh, if I'm restarting it, it stays a display. If I shut it down, it goes back to the iMac and I can use the iMac separate from the actual computer. Um, if I want to uh, use the PC while the iMac is on, all I have to do is turn on the computer and the display will come up. So I'm assuming that's everything that, that will happen every single time. Let me just do one more test, which is, let me shut down the PC and I wanna see if what happens when I shut down the iMac also. So right now I'm turning off the computer and let me turn off the iMac. I'm going up here. No, oh, sorry, not restart. Completely shut down. So now I've had, I'm shutting everything down. So right now I'm just gonna turn on the PC and nothing should happen yet on the screen.
So the computer is on, but the iMac is not. You know, nothing's happening on the screen. I have to turn it on. So now nothing happened. It still has the iMac. Uh, again, shutting them both down, turning on the uh, PC, and then turning on the iMac. This is what happens. So let me reboot to see if that remedies the situation to go back to the display. So I just rebooted the iMac, and let me see if the display comes up um, for Windows. Okay, that didn't work. The iMac is back. I'm gonna do a hard shut off for the PC. Completely turn it off. And then let me shut down the actual iMac, the OS. And what we're gonna do is reverse it. Now we're gonna turn on the iMac first. Then after it boots up, then we'll turn on the PC. Okay, the iMac is on first. So I've turned on the iMac first. Now we're gonna turn on the computer and see if it makes a difference. And I think it just did. Uh, let's see what happens now. Hey, it worked. There goes the, the display. It went black and Windows is turning on. Okay, so just to confirm, when you shut everything down, in order to get the iMac as a display, there's my Windows icons and everything, you have to first turn on the iMac, and then after the iMac boots up to the OS screen, once it's loaded, the OS, Mac OS, then you turn on the computer, and you'll get the display coming up. All right, I hope this video helps. I hope for it was informative, and I hope you get uh, use out of it. All right. Thank you for watching. Please leave a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.